Jell on True and welcome to my Let's Play Star Trek Online on the PS4. I'm the Big B82 and this is part 115 of my Roman and Republic Tactical Officer playthrough. Where we're going to undertake the second part of the mission where Tilly from the Mirror Universe has taken over the Sentry planet of Pavlo and is using it as a using has turned the planet into a massive psionic weapon that can attack anywhere in the quadrant that could threaten New Romulus, Earth or Kronos. So we're going to be sent to go and deal with Tilly or Killy as she likes to be killed and finally rid ourselves of another annoyance from the discovery. Anyway, let's how for the mission. Our information about events at Pavo is incomplete. But I believe the Terrans are undertaking a large-scale operation there. They have managed to coerce the planet's consciousness into serving their violent needs. Furthermore, they've turned Pavo's transmitter into a potent weapon. Time is of the essence. While the Alliance is mobilizing a larger response, we are, in effect, the first responders. It falls to us to do what we can to stop Captain Tilly and her crew before they solidify their control of Pavo. Failing to do so could be catastrophic. Ideally, we should return the Discovery and her crew to their proper time and space. Under the circumstances, removing the Terran presence from Pavo is the more immediate, logical need. So let's accept and let's begin the illusion of communication. And also, my cheesy commander's log. Commander's log. Terran Captain Tilly has taken control of the Pav Pavlo. Alliance Command has found a weakness in her defences and is sending me to stop her super weapon. Well, that's not actually what I actually have there, and I will be changing that description because that looks that English not strong, me bad. <coughs> So, hope everyone is well. I'm not particularly uh, fond of these uh, these missions, but you know, that's all I can do. Based on my readings, I believe the Terrans have managed to alter Pavo's song. Somehow, Tilly and her crew have manipulated to a new type of harmonic waveform. This waveform is potent enough to realign the space around the planet, shifting it into a different quantum signature. As a result, a number of interphasic rifts have opened within the system. For what purpose? I believe she is attempting to bring things from the mirror universe to ours. Logic suggests an invasion force based on previous encounters with the Terran Empire. We are not the only ones interested in this behavior. The time-displaced Klingons are moving to investigate as well. Considering previous encounters, the situation could become volatile quickly. Let's deal with this before it gets out of hand. This wreckage is from a ship, a massive one. The Terrans were trying to get reinforcements through here, it didn't work. I'm picking up life signs of several of the larger pieces of debris. Emergency life support systems are failing, however. Don't have a lot of time. Prep sick both for casualties, bring transport, begin transporting survivors aboard.
We've rescued several survivors. The uninjured the ones are being held in the brig and the casualties are in sick bay. Found several who were cocooned in mycelial threads. Apparently the wreckage passed through some kind of subspace mycelial network and now several of the survivors were wrapped in these fungal strands. Will cocoon one survive? Two so earlier to tell but indicators are generally positive. Apparently the mycelial network is very durable. It may have been protected them from the disaster that claimed their ship. Keep me posted on their status if their status changes. In the meantime, we need to get the planet side. I have the coordinates for the science station on the planet's surface. It is logical to assume that the Terrans have taken control of the research team and the facilities. Preparing for an armed response would be prudent. Trust me, mate. I am prepared. When anything involving the Terrans, they are vicious, nasty people. And we dealt with them before. The research facility has already been attacked. We must see to the welfare of the researchers, if any survived. We should check the sheltered area. Your assistance is appreciated. The irony of a Roman in helping a Vulcan. These are different times. My injuries we are, are not fortunate like threatening. that the Terrans did not kill everyone. They were more concerned with our research data and equipment. Our work appears to have given the Terrans what they need to communicate with Pavo in ways we cannot. They are now able to alter the planet's consciousness, causing it to reflect their own dark nature. We'll bring your people to safety before we deal with the Terrans. Our security personnel should remain with us. We will need all the help we can get against the Terran forces. A, a logical conclusion. While trying to communicate with the planet, we have learned that it uses crystal matrices as transmitters. We have a small collection of crystal samples. They may be useful to re-establish the planet's normal biosphere, free from Terran influence. Let's pick up a few of these crystals before this continues. I was able to take readings of the area. Terran technology is not subtle, especially agonizer gear. I am reading it in several nearby locations. A meadow, a riverbank, and a narrow pass. I'm also reading several Terran life signs in those areas. I do not expect a warm welcome from them. Once we're done with the Terrans, we can turn off the air agonizers and restabilize, restabilize the planet. There is a canyon that exits to another glade of Pavan life a short distance to the south of here. Logically, the Terrans would seek out places where they can use their technology to attempt to subvert the planet. We should keep an eye out for their devices then. I like their uniforms. The cube. The device there, near the crystals, disable it to interrupt the Terran's hold on Pavo. Hmm. Well, that's easy. Hey, right, Terrans. What in the world of Scooby Doo is that?
Is that a wisp? We should continue before the Terrans send reinforcements. Curious. I sense something. They are attempting to communicate telepathically. Be sure that's wise, Doctor. Oh, don't do this to me, game. Where is he? Don't care. Your assistance is appreciated. I have recovered. Well, I'm going to do the short, short version. My injuries are, are not for life threatening. I was able to there is don't care the device there near the crystals disable it to interrupt the Terran's hold on Pavel uh. buggy mess Down by the river there were many, many herons and I shot them all with a plasma rifle. Ok. 
Come on, quick, 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 quick. All right, Hopefully this doesn't bug out. It's getting quite irritating. Should continue before the Terrans and Unfortunately, I can't skip this. Curious. I sense something. They are attempting to communicate telepathically. Take me over means I am Vromelin. We are pretty much the same. Hmm? You think so? Okay. their agonizer technology to induce a state of hostility in the Parvin biosphere. It is lashing out, using its empathic powers to project its pain and rage into other living beings. If the Terrans are able to do this on a large scale, the planet could serve as a massive telepathic weapon. It would be able to subvert or kill anyone anywhere. We should disable this technology wherever we find it on Pavo. Why didn't the attack affect me or my officers? An interesting question. I believe the biosphere has a stronger connection to myself and my team. It may have instinctively struck the most familiar minds first. That being said, I do not believe it will continue to exclusively attack members of my team. Only those with the ability to harm the biosphere will be immune. Are you able to continue on? Yes. Now that I have experienced the psionic attack, I can take steps to shield my mind against it. The security officers, on the other hand, do not have my level of training in the mental arts. It would not be logical for them to continue on with us. Very well. We'll bring them to the ship. Guys, if we group, fine. for me anyway. Okay. It seems that in addition to using their agonizer technology on the planet itself, 
The Terrans are blocking access to the central pillar with force fields and selected areas. Doubtless, they wish to prevent interference in their captain's plans. We need to disable these force fields and stop their captain. Right, let's go and pay Captain Teddy a, a, a visit. Disable the controls to the left before she forces Pavo to release a lethal wave of psychic energy. I can do this all day. You? Not so much. Time's up. Ready to die? Um. Ever had an agonizer down your throat? No? You're about to. I don't know what an agonizer is, but it sounds pathetic. Now this will be a real thing for me. Disable the controls behind the spire before she forces Pavo to release a lethal wave of psychic energy. You just got to my last nerve and jumped all over it. Way to destroy the franchise. You know, it's only a matter of time before we beat you, right? You don't have the stomach to stop us, but we're more than capable of ending you. And I intend to make that happen. That seems unlikely. Your campaign of terror here is over, Captain. Oh, I'm not done yet, Vulcan. Till next time. You assholes. Fascinating. Interesting. She has somehow used Pavo's transporter as a long-range transporter. Tilly could be anywhere in the quadrant now. 
If we are fortunate, we might find further clues among the Terran equipment. They did go to considerable trouble to arrange the site. We should check the gear. Well, that's fine. I think we have found all we can here. It may be advisable to return to your vessel so that we can deal with the situation in local space. Well, the Roman Republic is more than willing to go to the very end to defeat you. I think the Klingons probably will as well. But... Now that you have secured the research preserve, we must find a way to return the remaining Terrans and their vessel to their proper time and place. Recommendations? We can use the Ion Storm to send Discovery back. Specially modified probes can amplify the storm in specific locations. This can generate a localized ion effect and open a gateway to the proper point in space and time. Convincing Discovery to enter that could be difficult. Indeed, especially given the Terran predilection for hostility. Shut up. Fights the same. Stand down. You need to return. We need to return to your proper time and place. Fine by me. Tilly slinked off to parts unknown and left us to die. I'm the captain now, and I say send us back if you can. Very well. Return to your initial entry position and don't try to any more tricks. Your display has been updated with the locations to place probes around Discovery. Once the probes are in place, they will trigger an ion flare to open the gateway that will take Discovery back. He's just said and done. Agreed. The time-displaced Klingons are still out there. They have shown a distinct interest in destroying the Discovery. Along with all of us. Right, Elm, take us to launch points. Tactical keep watching for points. Really, the best that these cannons can do.
your ship being crap. Surprises on the planet as Robes well. Are in position. For now, Activated. I believe we can safely depart the system. That's good news. Three, two, one, engage. Well, that was one fantastically buggy mission. There's a relatively new one as well. Okay, this is how command. It will take some time to evaluate the impact of the Terran occupation of Pavo. The agonizer technology they used to manipulate the planetary biosphere was invasive and damaging. I'm concerned about the effect it had upon the Pavan ecology and how that will affect future attempts at interaction with the planet. The fact that Captain Tilly remains at large is troubling. Her technological prowess and propensity for violence should make her presence in this time quite disruptive. Quite disruptive. Should she acquire current technology and return to her own time, it is possible that she will rewrite history as we know it, turning our universe into one more like her own, if not worse. In the meantime, we both have our duties to attend to. It has been agreeable working with you. Live long and prosper. Joe Lon Chu, Sam. And with that, that is the end of part 115. When we return in part 116, we will finally. This yeah. is Captain Kumarke of the LSS Riscava. My yeah. We'll be finally have our meeting, a long awaited meeting with Jula. And she launches an attack on Andorra. And that will be our, fir our first meeting with, uh, uh, well, her first meeting with Romulans. Pretty sure she's never met a Romulan. Until then, under the 82 please subscribe, comment, and welcome. I appreciate any thumbs up as well. And I will see you in part 116. Well, what was it called, that mission? <laughs> beneath the skin. Yeah. So, beneath the skin. And we finally meet Jula. Till then, ciao for now. <laughs>